Okay, hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how to put games and apps, have like your own little virtual computer, on your USB. Um, here I just have a standard, I think, 1 gig USB, which I've just formatted by going right click format for Windows. As you can see, it's just empty. Alright, so now we need to go to your internet browser, go to Google, and then we need to search portable apps, go to portableapps.com, and go to suite, okay now you need to go to download 1.6.1 1 .1, or whatever it is when you're viewing this and there is three different types of portable apps. You can get the 2 meg which just has the um, the portable apps platform which is 2 meg and you can have the suite which contains like your web browsers, email, stuff like um, OpenOffice which is just like a open source um, word and whatnot. So I'm just gonna, for the speed's sake, just download the platform, and this is all like free and stuff, virus free. Just downloading. Okay, so it's only 2.2 .2 meg. Doesn't take long. wait for that download and I'm also going to show you something which a lot of people don't know about portable apps this is also a blog spot uh, also a blog spot website which is um, contains like a lot of apps and stuff that are like pro versions and all paid versions that have actually been made free and free to use because they are portable. So just install that to your USB. So you can just see it's opening. And portable apps contains heaps of stuff like you can have uh, just all like utilities, you know, stuff like um, uh, what else? There's unzipping archives show you the applications you can get. So you can get on screen keyboards, there's stuff for if you're into developing stuff, um, heap of games there. I'll show you how to install apps to it later. Um, you know, there's even Blender, portable, um, you know, but I'll show you, yeah, the blo as I said, the Blogspot website later, which has, you know, all the all paid stuff for free. But you know, there's security stuff, heap of utilities, you know, portable java, what else, 7-zip, p-zip, pretty much everything you need. So now I'm just going to launch portable apps because that's finished installing to the USB. And so here we go, that's just it. And this is like a great substitute for a lot of USBs come with the U3 launcher. This is about 50 times better, so you can do everything here, but at the moment I don't have any apps, so I'm going to show you how to install apps. Okay, so I just might want to download, say, why don't I download, for it's on fire. Now this is just like a Guitar Hero game for your um, USB, you just play it with a few keys and it works pretty good you know you can download songs people have done like from various websites so it's, it's pretty cool I like it so that's 34 meg it's just gonna download away and I will show you the blogspot website which is here it's www.portableapps.blogspot.com now this has heaps of stuff and you just download them from like rapid share and stuff.
and these are all virus free and everything but because they're technically portable they've had all licensing and everything removed so you've got lots of pro versions like virtual dj pro um limewire pro what is here there's tune up utilities now i sometimes use tune up utilities it is really good it's like a um uh, if you got xp mainly vista or seven it's really good just for um changing themes customizing it if you're into that it's really really good like a good uh, you can get it for free here normally that'll cost you 30 bucks but you can get that and it's you know really good and um you can change heap of stuff with your operating system or customize it themes which can be a bit hard sometimes but yeah as you can see they've got a heap of stuff here they used to have a lot more but seems to deleted some but remember that's portableapps.blogspot.com and so my downloads nearly finished so just go back there wait for it so what you pretty much is going to have to do is once it finishes just double click on it okay it's on fire brings up another little installer and you want to go to wherever your thing is and it is somewhere where you go hmm excuse me I just need to remove and plug back in my USB here we are. So I just didn't see it. So now we need to go find it, go back to the USB. And we need to put it into portable apps. Into portable apps and into app. So that's where all your stuff goes. Like the other, I'm pretty sure the ones that you get from Blogspot these you just get the file like a folder with um the stuff and you just have to go and copy that into your directory of portable apps portable apps .com, app and that's where you just put all your that's where you can just put your um games and your all your apps and stuff so this is extracting and then once that's done I'll show you that so I'll just have a look at some of the other sort of free stuff you know they got a lot of what have we got file rename chromium which is a very fast browser like a mix of S uh, where I am and Google Chrome and you can get Flash, Player, Nero, Burning Room, one of the best out there, for free. So, Office, this is where, no, I'm pretty sure they don't actually have Microsoft Office, but they just got the free stuff, still really good quality. Right. Right, so I'm pretty sure you get the gist of that. And once you are done with your, once it's all installed, or when you plug in, you just start your portable apps. And you have your menu, you just click on it, it boots up. And I might upload another one on showing you some of the actual apps. So, alright. Thanks, see ya.